<laughs> Hello, little chickens. Every single day, I swear, they have a new, like a, a whole new set of feathers. I like their feathers. Part of our goal was showing kids that they can live in a sustainable way by producing um, their own produce in the garden or their own eggs. I think that'd be amazing to teach kids how we raise chickens, how to take care of them, how to be responsible with them, and for sustainability and whatnot. Part of the reason for the chickens is because they give us eggs, and with those eggs we will sell them, and then those eggs, the money from those eggs um, comes back around and helps our school. That's the exciting thing, because our ECHO code is looking to the past to sustain the future. And that's really what we're about. We want these kids to see that we don't have to abandon everything from the past. We look to the past and we learn from that. If that chick will continue to sit on the eggs, then we might move her in there. One of the major things that I've learned is responsibility, because you have to be very, very, very responsible in order to take care of these chickens. Well, the biggest lesson for pretty much everyone is responsibility and how to take care of an animal that you wouldn't have every day at your house. Leadership is also something that I learned. You have to be able to help kids learn and to lead them in their learning. <laughs> Over here we have 12 chickens. It thrills me when I see a child holding the chicken and saying I can feel their heartbeat. It calms them. That's chicken mania! Because you know how it's wet, wet. when it gets laid. <laughs> they laid their first eggs here, so it is pretty amazing just to see that. Found it. It's warm. It, it's weird. It looks like not as smooth as regular eggs. My closet Yeah, I know where the lock is. When I walk away from this project, I hope that we achieve great sustainability at the school and we have a lot of intelligent kids that know how to be responsible with wild animals.